uh, so Paul, you're the lead narrative uh, designer yep. person on Batman Arkham City. A couple of questions. What does the job entail? What, what do you what do you what do you do? Well, I guess I'm part of the design team. You know, my, my main responsibilities are kind of the story, yeah, yeah. characterization, how we make. You know, make sure we don't deviate from the brand. You know, working really closely with the game director, working really closely with DC. Um, you know, I guess in a dream job. Right. Okay. Sounds good. Speaking of deviating from the brand, that's actually one of the later on questions, but I might as well ask it now. Um, how hard is it to? I mean, because Batman's quite an established universe, so there's lots of canon around it. And absolutely. How hard is it to in a new game, in a new, in a new genre? How hard is it to stick to that canon, that original universe? Well, we're incredibly lucky. Um, to start with, when we first started, some four years ago now, we we were able to take the best bits of like the 70 years of Batman history and create, you know, Arkham Asylum, which was awesome for us. Um, and at that time, it that is all it was. It was taking the best bits and building up these characters and you know, being very true to the comic book and the animated series and everything else. But obviously now. Now we're expanding it more. You know, there's the comics that go with it as well. We have you know, new new interpretations of the characters that we have, like Penguin. You know, but our rule is always one. You know, you should always realise this character is the character that you've grown up with, even if he's very different. So Penguin, you should look at him and you should say that's Penguin. You know, not everyone will like it, but a lot of people will. You know, it fits into our universe. You know, and it's that very. You know, it's the same with anything. You know, movies come out. People say, oh, I didn't like character X in that movie but you know we, you know we we do our best to keep everything working you know really well in our contained universe okay cool so having such a well-established uh, universe uh, the Batman universe for example that doesn't limit your creativity too much um, 70 years of Batman stories out there you know we can be you know we we're inspired by Batman Batman is the this awesome ultimate superhero character so you know you can put him in the, the longevity of Batman is is Similarly to just how you can use him in very many ways. You know, it's just the kids, he's a lunchbox character. To to people like me, it's comics or films or whatever. You know, you can do loads of things with it, but it's always about being true to Batman. Okay, cool. So back back to you now. Uh, okay. Batman, back to you. Um, how closely do you work with the whole design team? Is it a case of writing the narrative, setting it out there, and saying, "Okay, cheers, boys, I'm off to the pub," <laughs> or is it do you work with them um, designing game aspects around the narrative, yeah. or does it work the other way? I sit next to. I'm in the design area. I sit next to Sefton and Ian. You know, there's a lead level designer and the game director. I've worked with them all for ten years now, so you know, we're very close anyway. We. You know, it's all. You know, Rocksteady isn't the kind of company where no one gets to say. You know, ideas change all the time. People come up with crazy things. We try and make them work if they're good ideas. You know, we always want the best, craziest stuff we can put in the game. But it is about, you know, it's about being true to Batman. I know it's a boring answer, but you know, we th we say, you know, how w would Batman do this? Is it right for Batman to do this? What? You know, when we're giving him gadgets, we make them really cool Batman-like gadgets. We don't, you know, he's not going to have a flower gun. Do you know what I mean? He's he's always. And he would never have a gun. You know? So we have a remote electrical charge if he's introducing this because Batman needs that to get out of a situation. But it's still true to him. It, you know, against people, it will be a, a taser-like weapon. But against machinery, it gives him the ability to power stuff up over range. And it just works really well you know, for the character, not for you know, just walking around blowing the hell out of people. Right, OK. So when dealing now with this Batman universe, um, do you feel that do you, do you have people constantly coming to you and saying, "No, listen, that's not right. This isn't right." Are you a Batman fan, and do you sort of judge what is true to Batman, and what isn't, or do you have guys from uh, DC Comics saying, "Listen, this is what you can't do. This is, this is what you can do. This is what you can't do. Stick within these guidelines." Uh, no, we're very lucky. Um, <laughs> we make it all up ourselves, but that's that's not really true. We we work really closely with DC. We have, you know, we have an amazing relationship with them. We can. You know, if we have a crazy idea that we think is crazy, like the redesign of Penguin, we go to them and tell them why and what we're doing, and they always say yes or at least try it. You know, they understand that we respect the brand. We really, you know, we love it. We don't want to screw it up. So for us, it's not about just doing things because we're bored of an idea or something. You know, we're thinking, how do we make this game great? How do we make the player feel like Batman? How do we tell an awesome story? How do we make the game mechanics really amazing? How do we make the fighting cool? All those things. You know, how do you make the environment look like this amazing city we've created? You know, these are all just questions and answers we're constantly thinking for the entire two-year development process, and DC are just as integrated into that process as, as we are at Rocksteady. So, is it is it really hard integrating um, a well-established uh, universe like uh, Batman into into gaming? I mean, um, the the more established. Uh, uh, 
I don't know, uh, what am I trying to say here? Batman normally comes across through comics, through uh, movies. Um, how, hard is that, how hard is it turning it into a game? Is it a case of, um, would you take a movie script and put it into a game? Or how, how hard is it to make Batman a game from a narrative perspective? <laughs> right, well, uh, you know, from, from our point of view, we always make every decision based around the game. So, you know, elements in the story are always to push the story forward to make it feel that your actions are relevant. In the case of building Arkham City, the entire, the entire universe, the entire space you play in is designed around one, the fact that it's this super prison that is created by Hugo Strange, who's this great character. Um, on the other hand, we still wanted, it's done because from a design point of view, we wanted to have a big open world, but we didn't want to have something just so sprawling that it lost the detail, the Batman DNA, as we call it, where, you know, almost every brick has a story to tell, just like back at Arkham Asylum, where, you know, you can experience all these great elements, but not, but, you know, and, and want to, whereas we didn't just want hundreds of buildings that all look the same, that mean nothing, and for the players to be running around or gliding around a world that meant nothing to them. We wanted people to really love this city, really love you know, being Batman on the rooftops, doing what he does best, gliding around Arkham City, taking out bad guys, stopping Hugo Strange, stopping Joker, meeting all these, you know, the Rose Gallery of characters, and you know, everything, every decision is made, you know, to fulfill those wishes. Right, okay. Um... Would you, would you consider a Batman game more engaging, more interesting than a Batman movie or a Batman comic? Because uh, as, a, as a consumer of Batman now, you're interacting with the environment. So well, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, each medium has its own strengths. You know, movies are great, you know, comic books are great, cartoons are great. Ultimately, the great thing about a game which no other medium can do is they put you in Batman's shoes. You know, you are Batman or Catwoman, funnily enough. But, you know, the, you can't do that in a movie. You don't feel like you're the guy in the movie. But in a, in a game, you do, and that's you know that's a really lucky position for us to be in. And like I say, that drives every decision we make. Right. Okay. And then just to end off uh, in the upcoming Batman game, um, is there anything that's really gonna, from a narrative point of view, now really gonna make the player step back and say, "Whoa, is wow, did, did I really just see that?" Or that would be telling. But I think we've got a reasonable track record of doing things that surprise players, and there are many, many surprises for players down deep in Arkham City. Right. Okay, appreciate it Paul, thank you. No worries, thank you.